Hi guys! Given everything that's happened over the last couple of days, this one's going to be a doozy. I wish I knew where to begin. This is off the cuff for me. Um, I'm assuming there'll be lots of cuts in that when I edit it. Um, and a lot of ums. But I want to get my perspective down on the things that have happened. And where I see us going from here. And where I'd like to see us as a community be from here. We need a, a time of healing for ourselves. We need to look deeper, be more retrospective, and work to become a better community than we have been. Um, situations that have happened in the past, um, from the Atheism Plus and up to the stuff that happened with Stephen Woodford and the Atheist Experience and the Atheist Community of Austin, and then with Essence of Thought and Stephen Woodford and all this stuff that has come together to get us to where we are now is stuff that we shouldn't let us shouldn't let tie us down as a community or as individuals. I've said constantly in tweets to other people and to myself now we need to be better. We need to understand that the things that we do and say have consequences. That our own actions can hurt other people even if we don't think they do. And we need to own up to that. Apologies are an interesting thing in life. We don't just give them to placate another person. In fact, if you're giving an apology to placate the other person, you are doing it wrong. We give apologies as a sense of closure for a person to show contrition. Not in the sense that we are giving up to the other person, because it's not about a battle. But in the sense that we are showing empathy and understanding for a situation. We don't have to think that what we did was wrong to owe somebody an apology. We can make a mistake that wasn't deliberate, that can cause pain and anguish for another person. But we need to own that that was still a mistake. It may not have been our fault. But those excuses don't matter. When somebody is feeling pain from our actions, their pain is actually all that matters. So we offer an apology. We offer an unreserved apology. We say, I am sorry what I've done has hurt you. You can say that with, it was never my intention to hurt you. But I am sorry for the pain that I have caused. Because whether we intend to or not, our words and actions have consequences. And an Ill thought thing from said from somebody can cause somebody else an immense amount of pain. But it's not just that. We as content creators and the people who view our content creators live a decent section of our of our lives online. We discuss on Twitter or in the comment sections in a YouTube video. And these comment sections aren't fluid like normal speech. They're dynamic, they change, new things get inserted in the middle as different people respond to different things. So what we say may not have the meaning we intended. When we articulate something through a narrow medium like Twitter where we only have a limited number of characters to express ourselves, often the nuance of what we're talking about disappears. And something that can make perfect sense in our minds when we type it loses all sense when read through the eyes of somebody else. We can insult without the direct intention of insulting. 
We can belittle somebody without even realizing it. And the pain that that receiving person feels is every bit as legitimate as if we'd intended the insult. And it is still then our responsibility as the perpetrators of the things that we say to apologize, to say, I'm sorry, I had no intention of hurting you. Please accept my apology. It is honest and it is sincere. Because in that you are being honest and sincere. You did not intend to hurt the person. But you can empathize with their pain. And you can be the better person for apologizing. Being stronger. And giving the other person a form of closure that helps them heal and move on. And you don't have to be that person's friend for apologizing to them. You don't even have to think that they're right. <laughs> but if what you do causes hurt, what you say causes pain, then you owe it to yourself and the other person to apologize and move on. If it's in the case of Twitter, apologize, block and move on or mute or whatever. So you don't have to interact with said person again, but offer the apology. Be the better person. We should always strive to be the better person. And to that end, I'm trying to be the better person. I realized in my own altercation the other day that whilst I was preaching to the person on the other side to be the better person, I was not. I might have been asking for an apology for what happened to me, but I was also allowing for my friends to take up arms against these people and I was pushing that person for something that they didn't feel justified in giving. Now, I still think that an apology should be given. But my actions, especially bringing into call of disrepute of said person's niece, <laughs> well, not disrepute, I blatantly said I didn't believe the niece existed. This is a horrible thing to say. This is a person who obviously loves their niece very, very much. And I say that because I think for some reason that it's not real. Because the actions that I see from the person state that this person could not have a niece that was a trans person. No. My actions there were reprehensible. And I apologize wholeheartedly for them. I am terribly sorry, Shane, for my actions in that. And I apologize to you. Now, I have blockchain. I don't want the interaction again. I am moving on from that and I'm being the better person, but I still unreservedly apologize for my part in our altercation. And I hope that as I post on Twitter, that my friends and people who know me through Twitter don't follow this on anymore. It is over. It is done with. And now moving on to Rachel. Now, I love Rachel dearly. She is a beautiful person, kind-hearted, honest, and down-to-earth. And she has suffered a lot at the hands of Essence of Thought and that group of people. She in no way has to disown her friend because other people feel that what Rationality Rules did was wrong or transphobic. The the art of whether it was or not doesn't matter. They felt it was. And their feelings are justified. Even if the rest of us think they're wrong, they're still justified. They only have to justify those feelings to themselves. And in this sense, having an open apology for rationality rules is probably the only thing that will plus eight these people. And whilst we may think that they don't deserve an open apology, sometimes open apologies are the best way to do things. On the other side of that, continually pushing for exactly the apology you want may not be the best way to do it. When somebody offers an apology, you are best to accept it first and then 
give themselves a chance to prove that they are better, that they have grown from this, that they have seen themselves as a better person, that they are trying to be better. And you as a person accepting apology needs to be better and accept that on face value and move on from there. You're not always going to get exactly what you want out of people. It's not like that. The world doesn't work like that. We take the things that we can get, we work on that, and we build ourselves up from that to be the better people. Be the better people. Be the better person. Now, Rachel wants an apology, and she deserves one. Not because I necessarily think it'll be a heartfelt apology from the group. But because offering that apology and seeing that what you did actually hurt somebody is the start of healing, the start of reconciliation, the start of making something better. And as always, we're trying to be the better person. So if that group wants an apology from someone like Rationality Rules, then they have to be prepared to offer an apology themselves. They have to be prepared to be the better people. To stand up and say, I'm sorry for what I did. Please accept my apology. And move on. This is the way that honest, good people behave. This is what we should all be striving for. To be the better person. To be the best of ourselves. Rachel, I love you. You are amazing. You are inspiring. I wish you all the best in the world. And if there's ever anything that I have done that has hurt you, any words I have said that you has caused you pain, I apologize unreservedly for them. I know I'm not part of that group that has called you out on this, but we have communicated. And I can be pretty blunt sometimes. I'm sure there's something that I've said that might have added to your pain over the last few months. I apologize for that. I apologize for any hurt that I have pushed out on anyone out there. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And can we just move on? Can we all strive to be better people? 